What's up everybody, I'm Derek, welcome back to my shop. Got a cool little comparison video today, sort of a review. Uh, we got a $20 Warrior drill. It's the new 12 volt drills from Harbor Freight. And we got the Milwaukee M12, just plain Jane drill driver that I picked up from Home Depot. This runs about $129, not on sale, uh, which the $19.99 price is not on sale for this. With that being said, I did pick up the kit with the light in it for the Warrior brand because it's like an extra $7 and they don't have just the drills out at my local Harbor Freight yet. The battery on the Warrior I believe is a 1.3 amp hour battery. I'm pretty sure that is what I read. It does say here on the bottom using the other drill right up here somewhere 1.3 amp hour and the Milwaukee comes with a 1.5 amp hour, so it's not an exact comparison as far as the batteries go. Uh, but I did want to just put them head to head, kind of check them out, test them out, talk about some of the features, comparing the features between the two of them, and then seeing how they perform, drilling some holes in some wood. Okay, so just to go over some of the specs real quick, uh, again, both of these drills are 12 volt drills. They both have 3 8 inch trucks. The Milwaukee is claiming 275 inch pounds of torque and the Warrior is claiming 132 inch pounds of torque. So literally almost half. The Warrior's max speed is 550 RPMs and the Milwaukee's is 400 or 1500 RPMs. So that's pretty much all the specs that I don't really know just by looking at them. Uh, one thing I can tell you is that the Milwaukee comes with the fuel gauge to tell you how much battery life you have left. As far as I can tell, there is nothing like that on the Warrior here. They do both have LED lights. I believe that the Milwaukee is in a little bit better place. And you can see that it stays on after you push the button where on the Warrior, the light is literally only on when you push the trigger and it's not in as good of a place in my opinion. So let's talk about like belt clips. Uh, they do give you a belt clip on the Milwaukee. It does kind of look like that they give you a place to put a belt clip right here on the battery like where they traditionally go on the 20 volt uh, Milwaukee tools, but through that hole is literally the battery. So I don't really think that there's any way to put a belt clip on this thing. So that's a feature you're missing. We'll talk about the rubber over molding. I would definitely say the Milwaukee's better, no doubt. Uh, but the Warriors for the price is seriously pretty impressive. Uh, and they do have these rubber bumpers up here that are on the side. Uh, some much smaller ones on the Warrior. But definitely uh, impressive that they even go as far as to put rubber over molding on the Warrior. Kind of hard to say with as bright as the lights are, but I'm, I'm pretty confident the Milwaukee's uh, LED light is much better. The Milwaukee's chuck is a metal chuck where the Warriors is a plastic chuck. Let's talk about speed settings on the Milwaukee. You do have the speed setting of one or two. So really fast and kind of fast. And then here on the Warrior, it actually looks like that they give Harbor Freight the option, the manufacturer of this drill, they give them the option to put in uh, two speeds, but they opted for just one speed, which I think is acceptable, uh, especially given the price of this thing and who it's directed towards. Now, one of the obvious advantages of the Milwaukee is that you have a huge line of uh, other 12 volt tools to go with it, where basically right now, when I make this video, all you have is a light and the drill. I'd really like to see them expand this line. We're not talking huge, but just uh, like four or five tools, make a little impact driver with it, quarter inch impact driver, a little hacksaw, uh, one-handed sawzall thing. I really know what other companies call them, but the recip saws that you can use with one hand. And I don't know, maybe some kind of little circular saw. That might be way out of the question for this. But I do think that they should try and offer five or six tools in the Warrior 12 volt line besides just a light and a drill. So the Milwaukee is undoubtedly a better drill, but you're definitely paying for it. Like I said, it's literally $100 more. This thing costs 20 bucks. This thing will cost you 100, 120 bucks, $130. So let's talk about the torque settings here. You can go all the way up to uh, 18 plus the drill bit, which I guess that's your one. So you got 18 torque settings on this, and I think you only got 12 on the on the uh the warrior you got 12 and then your drill bit setting they're definitely made with different clutches they definitely feel different uh the clutch is significantly nicer on the milwaukee this is definitely an apples to oranges comparison these drills are not even in the same class you got really the best of the best and when i say that i know it's not a fuel 
and you got probably one of the cheapest cordless drills out there on the market in general. So let's get to drilling some wood and just kind of compare power. We'll just leave this in setting one and then uh, just kind of compare how many holes each of these can drill with a paddle bit. All right, so both batteries are fully charged. We're gonna start off here with the half inch. I chucked up the 3 8 inch. We're gonna start off here with the half inch. I got a 3 8 inch on standby just in case it's too much for one of the drills. So uh, all I've got is this awkward piece of wood. I thought, I, I forgot I recently threw away a bunch of my wood I keep here in my shop. So let's get right into it. So here at this line, uh, this is the Milwaukee side and this is the Warrior side. Here we have a half, drill, a half drilled hole and then over here we have a half drilled hole. Um, so what we got is 59 and a half holes for Milwaukee, we can just call it 59. And we got 48 and a half holes, we'll just call it 48 holes for the warrior. Well, love Harbor Freight or hate them, you gotta admit they're putting out a pretty reasonable tool uh, here for the price, especially compared to something that costs six times more. For a household drill, DIYer, kinda like real low level kinda consumers, people that literally don't look for projects to do for themselves, they're not really into building and creating and making things or fixing things, they just need to do small little repairs here and there. Uh, you seriously can't go wrong with that warrior. Now the Milwaukee, everybody knows Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee, it's a great brand. Uh, definitely, probably the best uh, professional brand out there on the, on the market right now, even though a lot of people wouldn't consider the brushed version of a 12 volt drill professional. It's, they're definitely asking professional dollars for it in my opinion. Super good drill here with the Warrior. Super excellent drill here with the Milwaukee. The Warrior is just coming in at a screaming good deal. A couple of things that definitely also make the Milwaukee better is that it's probably gonna take me an hour to charge up that battery at the absolute most and we're probably looking at more like a half an hour. From totally dead, it says that uh, this will take three to five hours to charge up. The charger that comes with the Warrior is really terrible. Uh, it just plugs into the wall and then plugs into the battery just like that. So, but you know, you can only ask for so much when you're getting a drill like this. And uh, I think it's an excellent drill for what it costs. So thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate you clicking on my video today. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already for more videos like this, for welding and mechanic videos, small engines, a few automotive videos here and there, uh, and everything else in between. I do a lot of garage style videos and lots of tool videos. So please click subscribe, give me the big thumbs up, and I hope I'll see you in my next video.